Wow. For the one time. Yeah, for the one time. And what better way for me to come back for matches like these? Miles versus Zamba going to be Ooh. a big one for us. We have Zamba, no introduction needed. Winner of Crown 2023. Um, the best, if not one of the best Robs. Whatever your argument is there, and it doesn't really matter. I mean, he may lose the ditto, but I mean, who whoever likes the ditto of their matchup of their respective character i hate watching dittos but this is not a yeah. ditto for us this and is now, mm -hmm. the more and more i've been watching zamba as of late it feels like whenever he just enters a bracket that's not really a regional and it's just a local he's like okay how how long can i go to just like speed run the bracket mm -hmm. he kind of if you watch fusion on monday he literally ran through bracket and and zero 300 kind of just ran through bracket it paid for the till day but this is somebody who can stop that momentum that he kind of has going and really slow it down to his pace, make him play to that tempo, and that is Miles Yoshi out here. Yeah, and that's the problem with this kind of matchup. Like, you could speedrun all you want. You could be as good of a player all you want, but at the end of the day, the thing about this matchup is Yoshi just combos the hell out of Rob, and that is going to be the way that you play the matchup, me being a, a Yoshi main as well. I can definitely see why Miles is having the hot start that he's having, and uh -huh. with a big body like Rob, Rob, you know, you could have gotten a two stock lead right there, but you're gonna take what you can. You have a whole stock and a Rob at kill percent. However, okay, hold on. Two yeah, stone right. pile driver taking us down, Undertaker style to the heavens. That's going to be one Ooh, stock. Dab lock. Get it right to the S man. Okay. We ain't taking out here. Miles still having a very phenomenal lead and the egg roll to get out. I feel like every time I see an egg roll, that's kind of disrespectful. But I know Pharaoh <laughs> has been cooking something for the Yoshi mains on the side to utilize that move. It's funny because I, for a lot of Yoshis, like, you definitely do miss input egg roll. But sometimes you just be like, YOLO, I'm just going to see what I can do with egg roll. And uh, coin flip and more times often than not, you are actually able to get something with the egg roll. However, Ooh. pressure covering the air like you're not gonna up b you're gonna try to go down and with a forward air because it covers practically every single part of where zombo was that was going to connect and take the stock in a two stock fashion now talking about speed running i mean miles looks to be like the speed runner here today yeah miles definitely looking so strong tonight uh i don't know if he went out to encore last night but we're probably gonna have to go back in the stream and clip that. To be fair, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, no I can get, I can get that. Well, well, next time we'll we'll set up the uh, the good old stream board to get it. But all right, back to the swing of things. Going to PS2, not switching up the formula whatsoever. Um, honestly, if you're Zama, do you really want to stay here, or do you kind of want to switch it up? Um, it you do have the platform advantage. You do have space to you know move around. That's what makes uh PS2 such a neutral stage. You also have you know. That bit of a pineapple in the bottom where you can hide away if you need to and get put in a tech situation to prevent you from dying earlier. I mean, yeah, it's a good stage, but it's more, it's not, it has less to do with the stage oh. and more to do with how you decide to utilize it. And the way that Zombo was playing, he was just putting himself in so many sticky situations where he just allowed himself to just get hit. But now with playing with spacing, right. getting his techs now, avoiding these jab blocks, yeah, definitely doing a better job playing the keep away game instead of the approaching game. Yeah, uh, I've been playing Yoshi lately and I've been playing against a few little Yoshis. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how like easy it is to kind of just like tech chase your opponent. Oh. And, and Yoshi's setups are really good for that. Just getting like constantly getting the damage, finding like the lead-ins to get mm -hmm. a lot of juggles like off of just like up tilt to like up airs, off of just like certain tech rolls. It's really amazing. Yeah, no, the best way to play around the tech situations is not like that, of course. You don't want to just run into Rob and decide to take an up smash from him, especially not at these percentages. But a great change of pace that we're seeing from game one into game two, ex except now it's in Zamba's favor and he seems to be running away with it, saying, Miles, you got to come at me. I'm not approaching you. And every step you take forward, I'm going to take a step back. Oh, no. oh my Mama god. So deep in that <laughs> reversal, but Zamba's still playing so safe. He's like, yeah, I got the lock from the shield, but he's keeping him out with the F-tilt. The gyros. We might see a laser beam, but was... Zamba just quickly swatting him off with the forward air. That really could have been clean if it wasn't oh! go for a Yoshidora egg snipe into Ariel off stage to get the stock. Not gonna be enough to take a good DI coming out from uh from a Miles, but just the percentage and the amount of work that he had to put in to get back into this game. Doable! Oh. Ooh. 
Almost got a very clean conversion to tie it off, but alright, here we go. This is still Yoshi. Yoshi has some pretty potent combos, pretty potent setups as well. We see it off of that missed tech, getting that jab block. And Oriko, nice. the down air is going to take it off the top. Let's see if Miles can bring this back. 153 on the board. We will see. Well, somebody's probably questioning why that work. I mean, look at the percentage on Yoshi. Aww. You're at max rage hey. percent. And that sent you nowhere for to be going into a, a kill screen right there. That just barely hanging on by the skin of his teeth. And with the arms forward air style going to take it. I mean, Zamba definitely chuckling it out, but... I would have been a lot more nervous knowing that the fact that, you know, all that momentum that I ga gave into the first two minutes just quickly shifted away and I almost lost that game too. too. Yeah, this is not going to be an easy battle for it. Miles in the end was really just fighting Zamba back for that second game. And now we're switching things up. Going to game three. You are going to be the one that has to just kind of set the tone against Zamba here. You don't want him operating on that game with just playing, walling out with the Nairs, the Gyros, the Lasers. You can see him like already trying to take this turn. But well, he, he is an operating buddy for a reason, so you know, he's gonna have to operate one way or another. And right now, the corner game is seems to be the way that Rob wants to operate. Hey? Oh, that could have been big for Zamba, but not go going for any execution of plays. Aww. Just trying to play it safe, but oh my goodness. Damage across damage being racked up on both ends. Very cute, the repeater. I love that. But Zamba, though, something we got to bring up as well. The way he positions his opponents to kind of just get set up by the up tilt, the F tilts have been so amazing. Like, off of that one setup, he got Miles in such a very good spot with the disadvantage as well. And he's still just trying to catch him, read him, just swinging on in. But yeah, Overzell is up smash. You might cost you a whole lot. Oh, that could have been so good too if Miles was actually able to use the jump armor to get away after that up tilt. But dang, just the call out and the presence awareness from Zamba coming out to take the stock. Ooh. But still, you're playing in the air against a dinosaur who knows how to fly. That says a lot. <laughs> yeah, and the thing, like, you can actually, like, challenge Rob like that, especially if you're Yoshi, because aside from that up air being really good, the way that Nair comes out is from behind mm -hmm. Rob. So you can get him before the startup of that move. Okay. And just like that, you know, in terms of percentages, now it seems like Mile has the upper edge, but still going to get caught with the up tilt. That's the thing about these two characters. Like, mm -hmm. You can just throw out attacks. You can press one button into the next because these characters have safe options. Whether it's Rob with down tilt, with up tilt, or whether it's Yoshi with jab or nair, you know, it's these characters can just throw out buttons and it just will eventually pay off. As that's why you're t seeing a lot of trades. Yeah, we're seeing the forward air. Looking for the up tip and try to go down low for the forward air. Miles has to be really careful not to get reversals here from Zomba or get caught up in an up air. But all right, we're back to get it. Miles still being forced to approach Zombie. Oh. He's playing so dominant right now. Yeah. yeah, the forward air is going to snipe that stock out there. Yeah, and you saw a bit of a head shake coming out from Miles. Like, uh, definitely a bit of disappointment coming out there. But you can't let oh. it get to you so far. The game is still going on. And despite, you know, the percentage that's being racked up in Zombie's favor, a quick 47 already, you still have a Rob sitting slightly at kill percent. But now the pressure coming out. I love the fact that, you know, you can press shield and your hurt box shifts and it, you, instead of getting grabbed, you just kind of slowly just said, say no, oh, not no. this time. All right, let's Ooh. see if Miles can get the stock off. Oh, nah. there, yeah, still trying to hang around town for the stock as well. Oh. The up air is still not going to take it. You do have Zamba in this jungle situation. You just have to catch him pressing the wrong button in the wrong place, but it looks like Zamba is catching Miles in the wrong place right now. Oh, and I like the option right there, just trying to utilize that back air as your safe tool because it is your best spacing tool that you have as Yoshi. But uh -oh. you threw oh. yourself into the gyro. This could be the stop, but oh, yeah. great mash. Oh, he's so out right now. And Us couldn't get the command grab on shield there. Very unfortunate. And the up air looks to take it over Ouch. two miles in the 2 1 fashion. That one hurts too because, like, it was a neck and neck battle that game three. And. You know, seeing from game one into game two, how, you know, it was just like one sided just to see that game three, you know, go pretty close up until that the the ending of those uh, first two stocks, you know, says a lot. But, you know, Zamba clutching out. I don't wait. So I don't get how the the spin, uh, the, the wheel spin works. So is the thousand dollar pot specifically for Zamba? I think. Um, or how does that work?